Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to get motion blur cursor on your videos using Premiere Pro or Vegas Pro. Enjoy! So first we're going to start off by using Premiere Pro, but before we start off, there's a few requirements to actually do this. First off, you need a recording software to actually record over 60 FPS. So in my case, I'm using OBS and I'm using and recording it in 480 FPS. But you do not need to use 480 FPS. So 60 to 480 FPS is the range of what you can select for your FPS recording. And the higher FPS you record in, you get more motion blur. So if you want to record in super high FPS and a lot of motion blur on your cursor, you can go ahead and record in 480 FPS like I do. But other than that, if you don't have a pretty good computer and you just want to record in a pretty decently motion blur, you can record in 120 or 240. So let's get into Premiere Pro. Alright, so what I want you guys to do once you open up Premiere Pro is create a new project and name it anything you would like. I'll be naming it motion blur and go ahead and click OK and then drag your raw clip onto the timeline. So you can drag it right here and then it will import the file and then you can preview it or do anything but obviously there's no motion blur cur cursor yet. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and click sequence on the left top and then go ahead and click sequence settings. So once you do that, this time base should be in the re uh, FPS re you recorded in. So what you guys want to do for this FPS is to make it 60. But if you want to render it in 30 FPS, you can do that. But I want to render it in 60 FPS, so you should do that. You cannot select 480 or the FPS you recorded in, or else you will not get the motion blur look. And go ahead and select 60 FPS, and then click OK. And once you do that, what you want to do is right click your clip, and go ahead and go to time interpolation, and then click frame blending. Once you do that, you can go ahead and export your project. And I'll be teaching you guys my exporting project settings. So go ahead and hit Ctrl M on your keyboard. And then this will pop up. And what you guys want to do is copy down my settings. Go ahead and uh, select H.264. So H.264. And then what you guys want to do is export video, export audio, obviously. And then go width by 1920, height by 1080. So di these should be all default. And you guys can copy down my settings if it's not. So copy down my settings right here, encoding settings, profile main, level 4.2, and hardware encoding. And don't select any of these. And these are some color stuff, I think. And these are, again, some stuff. So bitrate settings. So these are pretty important too, so you guys should uh, listen. So bitrate encoding, if you have a lot of motion on your uh, videos, for example, if you're actually recording like... Uh, gaming videos you guys should use a uh, higher bit rate and you guys also should use vbr one pass so higher bit rate and vbr one pass but if you don't have that much uh like motion on your videos such as my tutorials you guys can go ahead and go and select cbr and use 10 target bit rate once you do that go ahead and scroll down and just copy down my settings and then you can uh, this is optional, but you can check use maximum render quality. It will take that much time, but it will be a better quality. So you guys can decide that on your own. And then all you want to do now is just hit export and choose your uh, output name. So output like place and then you're done. Just hit export and you'll be done. So let's move on to Vegas Pro. All right. So if you are a user of Vegas Pro, this is what you want to do. Once you open up Vegas Pro, go ahead and drag your raw clip onto your Vegas Pro timeline. And once you put it in, make sure you have these settings down right here. Go ahead and copy down my settings. So make sure your width is 1920 and make sure your height is 1080. HDR mode off and these are all off. And then make sure your frame rate is the frame rate you recorded in. So in my case, I recorded in 480, so it's in 480. And then you just go ahead and copy down my settings. Pixel format is 8-bit. Full resolution rendering quality at best. Motion blur type at Gaussian. The interlace mode is none, resample mode is smart resample. So these are pretty important, so make sure you copy them down and go ahead and click OK. Alright, so after that, what you guys want to do is go ahead and click File and go ahead and click Render As. Once you do that, go ahead and click Magix AVC slash AAC MP4. So you can really select anything here, Just I'll just be selecting a random one. And go ahead and click Customize Template. 
and then after you do that just go ahead and copy down my settings right here with 1920 height 1080 uh, profile high and frame rate at 60 this is very important and then field order at none and variable bit rate these and then go ahead and copy down all my rest of the settings go to audio copy down these go ahead and system copy down these go ahead and project and that's pretty much it for these settings click ok once you do that and you can choose where you want to save it by clicking browse and saving saving it and then choose any name right here i'll be naming it tutorial test and then go ahead and click render and then you should be able to be get that nice motion blur and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching this video if you have a comment or if you have like a question make sure you comment down below or just join my discord server dm me or anything like that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye